ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, our Celtic about to complete three signings and we thought, I mean, it's still worrying times, there's only a week left until we face FC Michelin's in the Champions League qualifiers. Um, we've signed, like, obviously Liam Shaw, but in Ozazi or Giddy, but potentially, you know, free agents going into, you know, something kind of fees, I don't know how it was, like, 800,000 or something, just around that budget or that. Um, but we got a transfer update here, so this is about an hour ago. Uh, Leo Habada um, from Israel is set to join Celtic from Maccabi Peta Tivia. Tika Tivia, I am not going to pronounce this club name. The 90 year old right winger attracted interest from likes of Club Bruges in Nice. And they are, in, they are signing before we get into the third one. Um, Bozon Alal will make the move from Watford to Celtic, the 18 year old won Academy Player of the Year last season. Um, the Israeli, uh, Israeli Leo Abada is to Celtic is the most confident. Um, I've been this summer about a transfer story. This looks like it's going to generally happen, so hopefully it does. Um, the ports are though that um, Leo and Bozon are well set, were set, set to sign for Celtic over the next couple of days. It's it's potentially exciting because obviously another one as well. I made a video on the, the other day on the channel where Soppy, um, Brandon Soppy, um, he was basically we were in we were in talks with him, um, and he's set, put a picture on his Instagram saying um, boxed up and ready to go. But it's obviously French. Okay, hopefully potentially we see three signings in the door because we need it because obviously Brandon Soppy's a right back. We've got this guy Leal who is a right winger which we need. Um, no, we don't really need, I mean, we've got James Forrest and stuff, but, yeah, let's get this guy up. Um, uh, yeah, um, he plays for the under-18s team. Um, Boston Low. Um, so, yeah, um... I don't know if it potentially will come. He's, he's um, I also a also youngster. I don't know what position he plays. Midfield. So he plays midfield. Um, uh, potentially, you know, it, it maybe a strength in our midfield because obviously I, I miss with Scott Brown now. Um, strength in our midfield, which is probably one of the parts I say, yeah, we need strength. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, uh, Leo Abada from Maccabi. Uh. Celtic are set to complete him, the signing of him, for four million. Uh, the nineteen-year-old right winger will travel to Scotland tomorrow via London and sign a four-year deal with the club. There will also be no quarantine issues as Israel is on the green list, which is great as well because we obviously need them for, if for example Celtic are going to sign him. Um. Um, you know. You know we need them for the Champions League qualifier. You know, train, get them. You know what I mean? Get them ready. Um. But yeah, um, in a week's time we will play Michelin and um, but it's looking like um, a lot of other clubs are keen with this guy from Israel, uh, like uh, Olympiacos and um, a lot of Belgian and French clubs as well. Uh, but Celtic, uh, but sources have claimed over in Israel, uh, Celtic have now entered the running line to to get him. Uh, Abada, who is just f five foot six, stood out for his team last season and they finished fifth in the league. He uh, scored 12 goals and almost uh, joined Dynamo Kiev in January before the transfer broke down. Abada made his Israel debut against Montenegro in June and has been given the green light to quit the cl his club. It reports in his homeland claim he has now left the country to hold talks and chess parties. It's understood that Israeli agent Dudu Dadan, <laughs> what a name, has been given a, a mandate by the club to secure a transfer. He has now worked closely with Celtic before on deals with Nibirto and Effie Ambrose, of course, with <laughs> Verne Kaya and Osmela Soro. Class now is Mara Soro. New boss Ange Postcog has admitted they urgent, urgently wants to sign a winger this, in this transfer window, which we need. We need a winger. Uh, the Aussie favours a 4 3 3 formation, but needs more options in wide areas as he plots a rebuild. Uh, Forrest, Johnson, and youngsters Caramoco and Bailey and Owen Moffat are currently in the squad, but Scotland star Forrest has yet to feature in the pre-season after being forced to isolate due to being a cold, close contact. Uh, Johnson's just back from an injury, um, while Postco won't to place too much pressure on the other two. Uh, speaking last week, he said, we have a lack of depth in areas. You look at centre-back wingers and a right-back we need <laughs> so badly. 
Uh, despite only being 19, Abada has picked up decent experience for his team, playing over 70 first team games and was promoted to his senior national side after five under 21 outings. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get it done. Three signings are are Celtic about to make three signings? Um, hopefully we do. Subscribe and like, guys.